music illegally because Metallica has plenty of freaking money already, okay? I mean, I love them, but they don't need my money. Um, but, this, but Metallica actually was part of the case that helped to transform uh, the whole digital download and laws and the library stuff. So, uh, you know, if you're a music producer and you're making money, that's awesome. Uh, if you're like me and you don't want to spend it, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> coming train. <laughs> but the thing, yeah, budget cuts really blow, in case y'all didn't know that. Um, but this is why we have to transform. People don't realize how essential we are. And as in my introduction, if you think we're not essential, then we'll beat them. Anyway, um, maybe we should go from that, but, but we really, really have to transform ourselves and we have to transform our entire industry because people think that we're, you know, the bunny shushers and all that stuff and nothing makes me angrier than that. Um, if you ever walk up to me on the street and you ask me, well, why do we still need libraries when you have the internet? I will turn into the Incredible Hulk and I will beat the crap out of you. <laughs> um, uh, I hope he does not transform into a driver of the car. It's, it's bad enough to be a, and by the way, you know, shouldn't he be keeping his hands and paws and everything inside the car? Um, that could be kind of dangerous. Um, so, uh, I start work, I think, why am I just not lying on top of a doghouse? <laughs> um, but he would like to transform himself back to the old-fashioned Snoopy. Um, librarians, even, you know, you're wearing a suit, you're out here, you're doing the good thing, you're fighting the good fight. Um, it's incredibly important, you, you can keep thinking about slacking on the job, but don't do it when you're in front of people. <laughs> chocolate-covered bacon, but bacon has transformed itself. <laughs> it ain't just for breakfast anymore, baby. <laughs> I know I'm a guy and I'm too old, I'm not supposed to understand this. What's the deal with Justin Bieber? <laughs> Honest to God, I have a three-year-old niece. Last time I saw her, she came up to me and said, Aunt Kathy, do you know who Justin Bieber is? Aww. You should not even know anything about him. Just <laughs> stop it. Um, but he is trying to transform himself desperately. But you know what? He needs to change more than the haircut. Um, he needs like a whole new makeover. He is uh, out like a librarian with a bun. Um, <laughs> Get over yourself. 
It's not about the format anymore, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> hey, if you're going to transform yourself, go ahead and do your own thing. So what if it gets a little crusty? <laughs> about your job. Tell me right now. Sometimes, I don't think. Um, he does, however. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's just my opinion. What about you guys? You want to be transformed? Okay. Let's get transformed. Popcorn. That does not help my customers. And this diet. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> One way to transform yourself is going up on the high whatever that thing is and looking out in the crowd and 
And I have no idea what I'm going to say next. So there you go. It's transform yourself, because I'm not doing it for you. Um, you got to try to... That is like a public library. <laughs> You gotta target your resources, right? You can't get everything because we have this much money and this much stuff to do, right? So pick something. <laughs> this thing just moves by itself. That's awesome. Um, that's just really scary. <laughs> Man. All right. So transforming yourself. Are you a dweeb, a nerd? If you get, that's all me. Um, obsession, yes. Um, Social and app. Oh my gosh, that's all me. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> um, this is our frontline staff. <laughs> this is our administrators. This is librarians, guys. Come on, we need to transform ourselves that way too. So we're not scared of people who come up to us at the desk. You know, sometimes we're told to actually get out from the desk and actually interact. That's sometimes scary. Um, <laughs> when these guys are looking at you, right? Like, where's the health section? <laughs> or maybe the hair gel section of the <laughs> Sometimes we need to transform ourselves, and we have no idea how it happened. We're there. We have to be here. So, he needs help, too. <laughs> um... Sometimes we can feel a little sin about our transformation. Sometimes not so much. Um, sometimes, that's like Aaron Dobbs' thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so we're back to that end. Transforming himself, he's not going to be boring. He's going to show his spirit with that. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so sometimes we get really, really freaked out. Somebody shows us like, "Hey, what's this rash?" And we're like, "Ah!" And we can do like this, right? But we can't do that. We have to transform our face, and we have to say, "Okay, okay, friend, I'll find out what that rash is." <laughs> Fish marriage. 
next one. Take it to council. <laughs> that little stick and then we got power glove and we can take that power glove and transform libraries and I don't know how video games right yeah. Yeah. transition and transformation for all of us, right? First off, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in this library, everyone in this room is brilliant and beautiful and courageous and magnificent. I'm asking you to never change, never transform myself from anything more than the perfect thing that you are today. There is a small part of all of us that shifts. There is a small detail within every one of us that sings, that calls for new changes and new challenges in librarianship. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you too can be a small part of the pink eye. <laughs> what is the pink eye? What is the true self within the self? Are we really all bound within a shell? <laughs> of our fine abdominals and our exceptional posteriors. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are all a small thing, but we are not shrimps. We are, in fact, really freaky party animals. <laughs> this, this is the man who needs you. This is the man who calls you. You offer him a small bit of dignity, he takes it from you. Yes, <laughs> he takes it from you, and he drinks it with these cans and this, this delightful face. This is the face of future librarianship, ladies and gentlemen. This is the face of what we all have at the end of conference. Look, that's come on. Am I the only one? No, no, I'm not. Because, guys, are we, all, are we all just a puppy in need of love? I mean, yeah. isn't that ultimately what we're really trying to be? And are we trying to find a way for people to love libraries in a massive, world-consuming way like the Beatles did, right? Yeah. Right? I ain't gonna say that we're gonna be bigger than Jesus, because we already are. Thank you. We can love everything as a librarian. We can love ourselves. We can love the transition within us from a vegetable to an animal, guys. From a party vegetable to a party animal, and find the wisdom within it for ourselves as we tuck into the child and the lesbian within all of us. realize that we represent not just white puppets, but black puppets, people, okay? We are a full rainbow coalition of what we can offer, and we need to find within ourselves, no guys, don't just be a puppet, all right? Don't be a puppet, don't go through your life with somebody's fist up your ass, because you're like librarians, okay? You're like librarians, and you can do better than this. We, will, we talk to people about anything. Find your little moment, find your little tiny bit of dignity, and yes, <laughs> get a cat, guys, seriously, get a cat. If you don't have a cat, you need a cat, get your own lesson, no cat. I'm sorry, we're gonna send you right to the middle of nowhere, right? Okay? Okay, yeah, we're gonna send you absolutely nowhere. We're gonna send you in a tiny little spot. There was a day when a small child was born above Haverhill. And guys, I'm not shitting you, I was born in Haverhill. So, I transitioned from this little boy to the massive man you see before you today. There are times where it was very ugly, guys. But you can platform, you can, you can become more than just a simple minion. You can become something more than just a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of advice, guys. You can get your own minions. And in that way, you will become the one who will live.
right, so, <laughs> libraries are changing, people. When you go back to work on Tuesday, you may come across this. No one reads your stuff, your stupid tweets. I hear that every single day. <laughs> people tell me, John, why aren't you working? I said, I have Twitter. <laughs> you know you are awesome when you nuke your enemies with medieval technology. Medieval studies majors in the room, holla. Woo! All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll take it. I like to be special. So... When you tell someone how it is, what do you say to them? Oh, oh snap! That's what I like to hear. That's why you're like, very you know, you know where the information is at. All I'm going to say is, these aren't the doors you're looking for. Should we end up in hell? 
The question is, what are we going to look like after we transform ourselves? What are our libraries? What are our communities going to be about? Are people going to look at us and say, that is a Muppet movie nobody wants to go to, and that is fail? <laughs> or are they going to say, here we are. We've got no more money, and we're the Monopoly man. Our pockets are broken. We don't know where we're going to buy picture books, much less who wrote them and where we're going to put them. The question that faces us as librarians in the year 2012 is who we are going to end up being. Are we the joke on the seal with our pockets empty? Or are we people who can say, yes, using Google, I can help you find the best dot-com porn sites there are. <laughs> Transform yourself means. <laughs> 